Oh, hey, Lauren, what you doing? Oh, hey there, Adam, I didn't see you. Uh, today we're taking some cluster samples from four blocks of our Montepulciano. You can do cluster sampling or berry sampling depending on your vineyard size or application, but uh, the most important part is to get a representative sample of the entire block. You also want to make sure to be pretty gentle with the berries so they don't break and begin extracting before you get back to the winery. Hey, Lauren, I thought you were done sampling. Oh, hey, Adam. Yeah, I was done sampling in the vineyard, but I'm here at the crusher taking truck samples as they enter the winery. Vineyard samples are great for deciding if we want to harvest that block or work with that grower, but the truck sample is actually the last look at that block as it enters the winery. It gives us a great starting point for phenolic potential. Let's briefly go over some equipment we'll need for this protocol. A homogenizer. If you don't have a budget for that, you can also get away with a blender. An analytical scale. A centrifuge. Centrifuge tubes. A spectrophotometer a loopster, one centimeter quartz cuvette, automatic pipette, if that doesn't fit in your budget, a volumetric pipette, glass test tubes, acidified ethanol, and one molar HCl. Now that we have a representative sample of the entire block, we'll separate the berries from the rachis. We'll take the weight of our entire sample to find the average berry weight. Let's homogenize. Weigh one gram of homogenate into a centrifuge tube. Add 10 mils of acidified ethanol. We'll undergo a one hour extraction while mixing. If you don't have the budget for a loopster, you can also entertain a coworker. After the extraction, we'll centrifuge our sample. We'll dilute 1 mL of our supernatant into 10 mL of 1 molar hydrochloric acid. Now that we've added 10 mL of HCl to 1 mL supernatant, we're going to incubate for 1 to 24 hours in a cool, dark place. After the incubation, we'll read our samples on spec and record the data. So now that we have our spec data for all four blocks of Montepulciano, we're going to input that into the Great Portal on the AWI WineCloud website. That's going to give us back three numbers. Total phenolics, total tannins, and... Total anthocyanins. Total anthocyanins. And we can use that to make real-world decisions in the vineyard or in the winery. 